Hello, good morning. Hey, Bobcats. How is our beautiful Washington family doing? Uh, happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 13th. Uh, I hope everyone had a, a nice Easter weekend. Um, with your family, with your loved ones. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. And, um, and I'm happy to be back here with you. Okay, so thank you for, for joining us this morning. Uh, good morning. I'm able to see who is uh, logging in. Um, Angie, good morning. Thank you for joining us today. And today I have a book, a very, very special book for everyone. Um, good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. Hi, Miguel. Good morning. Uh, I have a special book for you uh, called The Empty Pot. And if you ever want to really, really learn about how, how much courage it takes for someone to... Um, truly be honest and do what's right even when nobody's watching this is the book that you really want to read i love it i hope you enjoy it it's definitely one of my favorite books i read it for the first time a couple years ago and um it's one of my very own books so i love it and this is called the empty pot written by demi okay i hope you enjoy it here we go the Empty Pot. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees, as if by magic. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Crutchfield. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Here we go. Everyone in the kingdom loved flowers too. They planted them everywhere and the air smelled like perfume. So where is the story taking place, Bobcats? What is the setting of the story? China, that's right. The setting is in China. The emperor loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all. And he tended his own garden every day. But the emperor was very old he needed to choose a successor to the throne. Who would he, his successor be? And how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. Hmm, I wonder what he means by that. The next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There, they would be given a special flower. I'm sorry, they would be given special flower seeds by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. Wow. Okay. This is this is the uh the children's time to really really show the emperor who can grow the most beautiful flowers, right? So every child got a seed, got some seeds to plant. The children seem happy. This news created great excitement throughout the land. 
children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their flower seeds. All the parents wanted their children to be chosen emperor. And all the children hoped they would be chosen too. Buenos dias, buenos dias, Maria Negrete, good morning. Ms. Negrete, our amazing campus monitor. <laughs> Okay, here we go. When Ping received his seed from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he could grow the most beautiful flower. Ping filled a flower pot with rich soil. He planted the seed in it very carefully. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. Day after day passed, but nothing grew in his pot. Hmm, that's strange. Why do you think his uh, flower is not growing, Bobcats? He's watering it every day. You think he's probably watering it too much? or not enough? Ping was very worried. He put new soil into a bigger pot. Then he transferred the seed into the rich black soil. Okay, he's gonna try this again. That's right, he has to water it every day. Thank you, Jessica Gonzalez. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning. Another two months he waited. Still, nothing happened. By and by, the whole year passed. Hmm. Spring came and all the children put on their best clothes to greet the emperor. Oh, oh, here we go. They rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers, eagerly hoping to be chosen. Ping was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought the other children would laugh at him because for once he couldn't get a flower to grow. His clever friend ran by holding a great big plant. Ping, he said, you're not really going to the emperor with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Ping said. It's just this seed that won't grow. Hmm. Oh, poor Ping. Do you think he feels embarrassed? He really doesn't know what happened there, right? Ping's father overheard this and said, you did your best and your best is good enough to present to the emperor. Holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight away to the palace. That's right. It's about trying your best. Okay, here we go. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly, one by one. Hmm. How beautiful are all the flowers? But the emperor was frowning. Hmm. And did not say a word. 
Why do you think the emperor is frowning? Isn't that what he wanted to see? The most beautiful flowers? Finally, he came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame, expecting to be punished. The emperor asked him, why did you bring me an empty pot? Ooh, let's see. This is getting interesting. Do you think Ping is going to be honest with him and just tell him that he did his best? Ping started to cry and replied, I planted the seed you gave me and I watered it every day, but it didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot with better soil, but still it didn't sprout. I tended it all year long, but nothing grew. So today I had to bring an empty pot without a flower. It was the best I could do. When the emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face and he put his arm around Ping. Then he exclaimed to one and all, I have found him. I have found the one person worthy of being emperor. Where you got those seeds from, I do not know. For the seeds I gave you had all been cooked. So it was impossible for any of them to grow. Oh, wow. All the seeds were cooked, Bobcats. So what does that tell us? What did the, uh, what did the other children do? Mm, I guess they really wanted to be chosen emperor, right? So they went to get fresh seeds. Mm -mm -mm. I admire Ping's great courage to appear before me with the empty truth. And now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land. The end. That's right. That's right, Bella. He wanted to see who was not a liar, right? Who wasn't lying, who was actually being honest. Well, Ping is definitely a good example for us, right, Bobcats? What'd you think of the story? Share your comments with us. This is a good example of how each and every one of us should be, right? Every day when, when, we, when we talk to you, we let you know that leaders, right? Leaders do what's right even when no one is watching, right? We always have to be truthful to ourselves, um, honest, right? Because that's how we become worthy of, of others. And when others trust us, um, there's nothing more wonderful than that, to have other people's trust. So um, so thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm glad you liked the book, Miguel. Angie, I'm glad you liked it. It was beautiful, definitely. I, it's, again, it's one of my favorite books. Uh, Bobcats, please stay safe. Um, I'm happy that we, we continue to connect with you every day. Remember that this week is spring break, right? So our students um, can relax. I still encourage you to read every day, Bobcats. It doesn't hurt us to read. So read for at least 20 minutes every day. And then our amazing teachers are also taking a break, a break that they really deserve. Um, so next Monday, uh, distance learning continues. Uh, so remember, you're not really getting any assignments on your Google Classroom this week, okay? So take care, Bobcats. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Stay tuned. Dr. Morales will be reading to you tomorrow. And... Um, I love you, I care about you, 
and I really, really miss you guys a lot. I can't wait to see all of you again very, very soon. Okay, Bobcats? Take care, and I will be back with you on Wednesday. Okay? So have a wonderful day. Stay safe, and, and take very good care of yourselves. Okay? Bye, Bobcats. Take care.